this video I'm going to show you the IPOF EL 1MP IR30 megapixel Wi-Fi camera and I'm going to be showing you some of the features of uh, this particular camera and how to configure it. For this demonstration you will need a uh, PC and uh, you will need to download the config tool located on our site securitycamerakin.com under CCTV Learning Center. Once you have downloaded the software just execute the software by just double click on it and this page will open up. You'll need to change the filter or the IP version to IPv4 version 4. Just hit refresh and uh, on, on this demonstration I have different uh, devices on my network that's what it shows up multiple IP addresses but I know where they are so the only different IP that I have in this result is going to be that one that 212 and uh, just so you know, this particular camera comes uh, configured as a DHCP. So when you connect this camera to your router, it's going to get a random IP and um, it's going to get assigned to it. Although you will need to change this later to a static, uh, for the purpose of the configuration, this camera is configured as DHCP and is not recommended to leave it the way it comes from factory. Okay? So uh, I'm just going to connect to it and just go into double click on that IP hit login and this interface will show up you have different tabs in here you can see uh, the version of the software you can see the serial number etc and uh, you can see here the HCP is enabled from the Ethernet card option there is uh, a drop-down that you can choose wire or wireless so wired uh, because of this camera is connected uh, directly through an Ethernet uh, wire right now to my switch and this is the only way I can configure it I have an IP on my wire that says 192.168.1.212 that's my range of IPs on my network and if I go to wireless uh, this is the default for the wireless so uh, the camera right now on the wireless side is assigned to 192.168.0.108 so um, in order for you to configure the Wi-Fi you will need to go to the wireless network tab. Um, by default, this option is disabled. So once you enable the option, you actually enable this on uh, the camera from through this interface. So you click enable and you hit save. Just wait a little bit. If you see this pop out, it says succeeded and uh, you're good to go. The next step is to log in again to the camera by just double clicking the IP address and go to the wireless network tab now. Now you will see the camera already searched for uh, the SSID. Uh, the SSID is the name of your uh, Wi-Fi. When you're searching for a Wi-Fi, the name that pops up on your phone or on your tablet or on your laptop, that's the SSID. That's where the, the camera is going to show up. So on this case, I'm just going to connect it on this one over here, Tech Main that is within the same range or within the same network as uh, where the camera is connected to. So I'm just going to double click on it and it's going to ask me for my password. So I'm going to put my secret password here. And as you can see it says unconnected but the status if you refresh it what's going to happen is it's going to try to connect and once it connects is is going to show up here the IP address that is going to get from your Wi-Fi and that is the same it should be the same range as uh, what you were getting before through the wired um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna come back when uh, it gets an IP from the router so now you can see that it says connected but guess what it is connected but it hasn't received the right IP address because, uh, like I said before, my range is that one that two twelve. So uh, the wireless side of it is that zero that one oh eight. So I'm not gonna be able to access it. So what I need to do is uh, I need to unplug the cable, all right, and let the camera connect strictly using the uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, because you already, you know, uh, got an IP from the router. So there you go. Is that one that thirteen now? when I connect to it you can see that uh, the wireless is the one that is being used right now it says connected and there's the IP address now 
there is one thing that I wanted to uh, test. You see, I'm able to ping that 1.212. Um, remember that was my cable um, IP address? Uh, and the reason for that is you can actually ping the loop uh, of uh, that connection, in this case the wire connection, because you are connected Wi-Fi. This camera, in theory, has two Ethernet cards built into it. One is wired and the other one is wireless. So um, you can leave it like this. You can leave it wired on DHCP, but it is recommended to for the wireless side to leave it statically. Okay. So if that's what you wanted to be the IP address of uh, your uh, wireless side, uh, you can just simply uncheck the HCP and hit save to make it static. Or you can go ahead and execute this command on the command prompt and you say, okay, let's say that you wanted to put this as 222. Okay, so what you do is you open the command prompt and you type ping space 192.168.1.222. Just uh, understand that this is my network scheme or this is my network uh, type of uh, IPs. It necessarily doesn't mean that it's going to be the same for you. So your IP address could be something different. But I wanted to assign to this camera this IP address. If I'm not getting any response, I can just go ahead and configure this as 222. And then just hit save. What's going to happen is the camera is going to restart and then is going to get that IP address. So um, if I do the search again, you can see right there that's my uh, static IP that I just assigned to the wireless side of it. So uh, the next thing that I got to do is just access the camera. Let me just close this. I'm just going to go to 192.168.1.222. And there you go. This is the interface of the camera. You can just log into it. This is a plugin that you need to install if you haven't installed it before. You just click on it and hit run. And once it finishes installing, the video should show up. Click install. Allow the uh, ActiveX to be installed on your computer. And there you go.